Hey guys, so I just got off work. It is seven o'clock. Um, so I actually got off work a few hours ago, but I had to charge my camera. And I wanted to do kind of like a day in the life of a business owner after work because I have four orders to do. Um, and some other like business stuff I need to work on. So yeah. Okay, so I haven't showed you guys my actual office. So um, me and my fiance bought a house in, what was that, 2020? And this is um, actually the dining room area, as you can see, this thing. I hit my head on this all the time, but I turned this into my office. In the corner for right now, eventually what I want is to have like a long desk from there and there, but you know, uh, you know, dreamers, you know what I'm saying? Um, down here is my Curio Silhouette machine. This is where I um, use to make my stickers. I'm going to be adding stickers to my site eventually once I get the hang of it. Over here, I have my uh, another little table, and this is my um, heat press, as you can see. Then over here, I just have my... Um, Car, my what am I talking about? My mailers right now they're black. Um, when I run out of these, they will I will be getting some um, pretty green ones. If you guys don't know, I actually did change my logo. This was my logo when I first started my business in 2020. This is what it looked like L9, like that. Yeah, I didn't like it, so I changed it to something that was more me. So now this is my logo definitely me because my favorite color is green so I wanted to stick with you know me because L9 represents me L for Danielle and 9 I was born on November 9th so yeah over here is where I do all of my like TikToks with my white my white background and these are all of my cases these are actually my cases these cases won't get sold to anyone <laughs> I use them strictly to like make TikToks and stuff and put them on my phone and over here is where all the cases reside from iPhone breaking from iPhone to galaxies I need to get a nice like um, you know a shelf system in here so I can actually have these stacked up so they don't take up all this space and then I just have my drawstring bags um, to put my cases in and then here is just the excess um, um, mailers yeah and then here's my printer where I print off um, my sublimation art to put on the cases and then I have another printer over here and this one is just a regular printer for just printing whatever I need and then I have this little um trolley thing over here with just junk and stuff that I need to organize but yeah that is it. And then I have all my purses down here because I was taking pictures with my phone cases and I want it to look like, you know, you have them in a purse. So, like I said, I have four cases or four orders. I don't know how many orders each case is in each order, but I have four orders to do. So, what I usually do when I have orders after work, I usually eat first, which I already did. Oh, snap. And I'm going to come over here. And if it works, is it unplugged? There it is. And I come over here, and this is my label printer. And I come and flick this one. Like that. And lastly, I come over, because this one takes a long time to heat up. I come over and pop this on. And it already like saves your preset, so I don't have to worry about punching in anything. I put it in once, and it's good to go. So it's going to go to 365, and it's going to press for 50 seconds and it's going to beep when it's done so now i'm going to go ahead and um look at my orders print my packing labels and line everything up
All right. I don't know how well you can see me, but I have my four um, packages that I have packaged up. And what I'm going to do now is just print, um, weigh them and print the shipping labels, stick them on there and seal them up. But I'm going to do that off camera because um, I like to have a little customer confidentiality. I don't want no accidental addresses shown or anything like that. So I'm going to do it off camera. So I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll be back. I probably look crazy, but it's whatever. Okay, so it is now 847. So what I'm going to be doing now is working on my website. It's some, it's some things on my actual website that I need to code to switch things around on there um, because I'm trying to increase my conversion rate because I have like a lot of people visiting my page, but my conversion rate isn't the you know the recommended good amount so i'm trying to like mess with um my website to see like how i change things up if it increases it or not i also have to work on my email template because today is the 28th it's the last day of black history month so what um i am need to do is write up an email template to send out to um all of my people that have subscribed to my to l9's newsletter to give them the final um amount of money that revenue that we earned for that month because um what i'm doing is donating 10 percent of my profits for february to a nonprofit for black women um, to help them with career building and other aspects like that um the name of the nonprofit is girl wonder and i will leave their website down below in the description if you guys want to check it out and read up on that nonprofit but that is a nonprofit that I will be donating to tomorrow on the first so I want to type up my email now and have it scheduled to send out tomorrow so I don't have to worry about it since I do have to work tomorrow um and also I do want to share with you guys I want to put my glasses on I took them off because of my ring light so please ignore the ring in my in my glasses but um, I want to share with you guys. It is 8.50, so um, it's not completely end of 28th yet. I still have potential to gain some um, followers on TikTok and some more views and some more purchases, actually. But I want to share with you guys my goals. It's the start of February, February 1st on TikTok, I had... I had 2,444 followers and I had 27.2 thousand likes. This is on TikTok. On Instagram, I had 193 um, followers. Today, on TikTok, I have 4,340 followers and 55.1 thousand likes for instagram i currently have 246 followers from 193 to 246 i'm sorry but that's that's amazing because one thing about instagram this is like the hardest social media to grow so i'm very happy about that i didn't write this down but i started my pinterest this month and this was with like from scratch i started it from scratch with no views or anything like that and i currently have four followers and twenty thousand monthly views if you can see that right there so that is something i'm going to be adding on for next month i'm going to calculate my followers i guess um i think views are more important on pinterest exactly but i like to calculate all of that because i want l9 to look very trustworthy and usually you look more trustworthy when you have a decent amount of people following you so that's what i'm growing i'm trying to be more trying to be out there is to let people know you know they could you could trust me okay i'm not about to scam you i'm going to send you your phone cases i promise you that you know so that was my goal for that and for my um money goals cha ching cha ching my goal for this month was to have 40 at least 40 orders and i really wanted to hit at least a thousand dollars in revenue and so of course everything starts over for the month so beginning of the month i had zero purchases zero dollars and currently 
I have had 47 orders. So I surpassed my goal of 40 and I'm three away from 50. That would be crazy if I get three before the end of, for the end of the night and reach 50. That would be very wild. And for my um, revenue this month, I have $1,021.18. Um, I'm also going to be tracking the amount of visitors I have. I want to do that too. This is my bullet journal where I write everything down. So I'm going to start tracking my um, visitors and my current conversion rate, with, conversion rate which is 1.9 and see if I can get it up a little bit more. But yeah, I think that's about all the things that I have going on for today. I'm going to hurry up and get done with this email template and working on my website to fix up some things. And I'm going to head to bed because it's 9 o'clock, almost 9 o'clock, and I'm exhausted. I have to work. I have to do all this stuff tomorrow. So, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.